Live Eastern Style. Last week, we joined Michelle at a gala fundraising event held by UNICEF's country office in South Africa. International showbiz celebrity Priyanka Chopra attended in her capacity as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador for Children's Rights. And her presence not only helped raise awareness of the organization's aims, but also much needed funds for its work. So to the lady for 12,000 countries. This glittering social event was, however, only part of Priyanka's visit to the Southern African region. She also made a field trip in Zimbabwe to form a first-hand impression of the situation on the ground. Although her time was limited, she made a particular effort to meet the children who are most dependent on UNICEF for help and to understand their needs and challenges. Hi. Make me cry. Before leaving South Africa, she attended a media event held by UNICEF in Rosebank. UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador and acclaimed actress Priyanka Chopra is in South Africa to highlight the challenges faced by children affected by violence. Named as one of the most influential people in the world, her visit will most certainly draw attention to this worthy cause. Priyanka was welcomed by the resident UNICEF representative in South Africa, who sketched the background to her visit. UNICEF is a global organization, and uh, when I took over my duty in South Africa in 2014, I look at the, the country and I said, where can we make a difference as UNICEF? And after consulting South Africans, it became very clear that there is one area where we can make a difference, and that's on the issue of violence. I've been working with UNICEF now for about 14 years in India, and last year as their national ambassador for 10 years, and then um, as the Global Goodwill Ambassador now for a year. And uh, Africa has been my first trip outside of India that I have gone to field on. I've had a quick whirlwind of four days in, in Africa, which is including Zimbabwe and South Africa. My trip started in Zimbabwe and uh, I have to say more than anything, it was extremely insightful. And the biggest reason why this was such an important trip was the statistics <coughs> are staggering. If you think about violence against children, and these are children under 18, one out of three children under the age of 18 in Zimbabwe have faced some or the other form of sexual violence. And South Africa, that number is one out of five. That's an epidemic. It's not a problem. And it's our problem to solve. Physical and sexual violence that happens against children in Africa is the reason why the future looks bleak. I may not be from here, but I'm a citizen of the world and it matters to me. Every child matters to me. Every child that I've met had an ambition of being a doctor, of being a mechanic, of being an actress. I got a lot of those too. <laughs> it's just so wonderful to see these child and youth care workers who dedicate their lives and commit themselves to making South Africa and the future of South Africa and Zimbabwe a better place. We're very privileged, all of us. We get to wear great clothes, we get to drive in cars, we get to go to school, we get to choose our careers. If you are privileged, it is your social responsibility to give back to society in whatever way that is. It doesn't necessarily have to be money, but also your time, your compassion, your opening your hearts and actually seeing these children not as statistics but as real people. We are the means to an end. As the statistics quoted by Priyanka made clear, Child abuse is an immediate problem of immense proportions. But food security is another serious issue affecting Africa's youngest generation. Climate change can aggravate the situation. World Environment Day is upon us. How do you believe that environmental issues and climate change also affects children in developing countries? Environment change affects all of us. I mean, if there's no Earth anymore, where are we gonna go? We don't even, we haven't even been to Mars yet. <laughs> but I'm yeah. saying, um, Environment, the environment and, and, and global warming and issues that affect the earth affect every single one of us. And I wouldn't single out just kids because I think that the earth is our home and we are not looking after it at all. Because again, we're desensitized to it because our lives are comfortable and we're okay. And a lot of people don't believe that there is a crisis of global warming in the world. And we have to fight that. And it's all about consciousness. Little things that can make a difference. Um, when you're brushing, don't keep the tap on. Have shorter showers. Um, when we drink mineral water out of those bottles, don't take a sip and waste it. Don't waste the food. 
switch off the lights when you step out. It's those little things that each one of us individually can make a difference and that itself will count. If we all together are conscious about what we need to do is when we'll be able to change the future of these children. Every child that is violated like this is your daughter too. So we need to be so socially aware because when we come together as a people, that's when change happens. Priyanka also visited Soweto, spending time at the Safe Parks project. Here she had an opportunity to meet children and hear their stories, and showed that she wasn't too important to join them at play. Afterwards, she shared out stick-on bindis before wrapping up her visit with singing and some impromptu moves. While South Africa has made impressive socio-economic progress, these achievements still need to be translated into gains for some of the country's most vulnerable children. We can all play a role in achieving that goal.